Let's follow the path of Dusty's trail, oh Dusty's trail, Dusty's trail. A stage and a wagon are heading west, part of a wagon train lost from the rest. Dusty's the reason for their plight, thanks to Dusty, nothing's right. Only the wagon master's hand keeps them a rolling to the promised land. All oh, the going gets mighty rough, but they don't seem to mind. It's California, A, that's the place they must find. Deserts and rocks are in their way, but they won't stop, come what may. Mountains and hills that they must scale, but they know they'll make it cause they just can't fail on Dusty's Trail. with your paw, fella? Here, let me see. Look, I won't hurt you. I just want to take a look at it. Huh? Just want to take a look. Oh, you got a bone in your paw. Here, let me have it, and I'll see if I can get it out. It might be a little painful. You want a bite on a bullet? Huh? I know. I'll just tell you a little story, and you won't think about it. See, it was this little girl with golden hair, and she played around with brothers like you, see. You're welcome. Andy? When on earth do we get our breakfast? The room service here is simply atrocious. I'm sorry, Mr. Brookhaven, but I can't cook breakfast until Dusty gets back with the firewood. He, he should have been back by now. Oh. Oh, oh, there he is now. Is that a bear following him? Sure is. Yes. Good morning. Dusty, duck! It's not a duck, it's a bear. Run before he attacks you. Everybody head for cover. Bear. Dusty, look out! Carter, why do you always hide behind me when there's danger? Because it's safer, my dear. Yes, of course. Dusty, get out of my line of fire! Don't shoot him, he's a friend of mine. Dusty, there's no such thing as a friendly bear. 
<laughs> he wouldn't hurt a flea. Isn't that right, Hercules? <laughs> Dusty, what's the matter with you? Will you get away from the bear before he tears you apart? He wouldn't do that after what I did for him. What do you mean? He had a phone in his paw and I pulled it out and he likes me so much now he won't let me out of his sight. I don't believe it. It's just like Andrew Cleese and the lion. What's Andrew, what's his name and a lion got to do with it? Well, you see, Andrew Cleese was a Roman slave and he was supposed to fight a lion in the arena. But the lion spared the boy's life because many years before, the boy had removed a thorn from the lion's foot. But the bear is man's natural enemy. He's liable to uh, attack any one of us at any time. No, no. I mean, look at that cute white stripe on his nose there. I'm going to keep him. You are not going to keep that man killer here. I insist you get rid of him. <laughs> you see? You see? He, he, he missed. No, he isn't. Just like the way you yelled at me. What? Dusty's right. He thought you were going to harm Dusty, so he protected him, just like he would one of his own cubs. But Dusty is not one of his own cubs. <laughs> Easy, big boy. Easy. Uh, Mr. Brookhaven didn't mean it, did you, Mr. Brookhaven? <laughs> did you, Mr. Brookhaven? No, 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 no. Of course not. No, no I, I, I didn't mean it. Not at all. <laughs> Dusty, Mr. Callahan won't like you having a bear around camp. Mr. Callahan, we'll be back from scouting Owasso Pass for two more days, and by that time, you'll be in love with Hercules. You'll see. But we're afraid to leave the wagon with him around. You don't have to be afraid. He won't harm you. Hmm. That's what they tried to tell Little Red Riding Hood. No, he's very tame. I even taught him to shake hands. Show, show the girls. Ah! Ah! <laughs> to keep away from us. Well, I'll have to teach him some manners. Ah! We absolutely protest having this blasted bear join this party. This is a wagon train, not Noah's Ark. Don't worry, Mr. Brookhaven. When we hit the trail again, Mr. Callahan gets back. I'm sure we'll leave the grizzly behind. Oh, I certainly hope so. I mean, he really does have atrocious breath. Where is the bear? Well, he's out in the woods someplace. Well, come along, dear. It's our fiesta time anyway. <laughs> Heavens. Same thing happened to Goldilocks. <laughs> Dusty, as the owner of this wagon train, I absolutely insist that you get rid of that lumbering quadruped. I don't think he liked what you called him. He doesn't mean to frighten you. He just on wagon train broke yet. Wagon train broke. <laughs> he is a menace. <laughs> now look here. You K E E P that B E A R out of our way, or you'll be without a J O B. Be careful, I think he can spell. <laughs> Why, I'm so S O R R Y. <laughs> Where's Dusty? Oh, he took Hercules fishing for tonight's supper. That awful bear pulled our wash off the line and tore it into ribbons. Look at this. Look what he did to my... It's useless. <laughs> Mr. Callahan, we hear Dusty would have gotten rid of that bear a long time ago. Now look what he's doing. <laughs> Son of a gun. Get out of the food, Hercules. <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I, I think so. Hi. Did Hercules come back here? He came back. Oh, come on, Betsy. No, oh, I had sent him home because of his naughty. Look, he ate all the fish I caught. <laughs> Dusty, I think it would be better for everybody if you got rid of that bear. Just because he ate some fish? No, because he stole our food supply and because he belted me. That couldn't have been Hercules. That had to be another bear. It was Hercules. It wasn't another bear. Oh, what if Hercules apologizes to you? <laughs> what if I put him on a leash? <laughs> I know, I'll put a muzzle on him. <laughs> How about if I take him to the woods and... <laughs> well, this is the place
place we met, and this is the place we say goodbye. I hate to do it to you, old fellow, but nobody around here likes you except me. Huh? Oh, look, don't look at me that way. I hate to see a grown bear cry. <laughs> so long, little pal. Dusty, he's been sitting back there like that all night. Huh. I didn't think he'd miss the beast. Only one bear misses another bear that much. Hold on, he'll get used to it. I hope so. We've got company. Wonder who those men are. I wonder if they're single. Dear, someone's coming to call and I'm not even dressed. How dare they drop in before breakfast. Oh. Howdy. Howdy, what can we do for you? Name's Blake. Mine's Kim. Oh, it's nice to meet you. My name's Andy, this is Dusty. Howdy. Howdy. How are you? <laughs> See any bears around here? Bears? Well, I thought they kept to the high country. Well, lately a lot of them have been raiding the ranches in these parts. Killing livestock and attacking folks. Is that a fact? We're shooting those critters on sight. Shooting them on, on sight? Yeah, they're killers. You folks better be on the lookout. Those bears are just as soon attack you as look at you. Just a minute, Dustin. No, I'm in a hurry. I gotta find Hercules. Oh, no, hold it. Now, you know, I could have made a mistake about Hercules hitting me. It could have been another bear. In fact, now that I think about it, I don't believe he had a white mark on his nose. Well, it's nice of you to admit it, Annie, but uh, I'll apologize to Hercules for you. If you don't mind, I'd like to come with you and apologize myself. You want to help me find him? Sure. Well, thanks. See any bear tracks? Hercules has got to be around here someplace. Hercules! You who, Hercules! <laughs> We better split up. Why don't you cover this area and I'll look over here. Okay, if you see him, give me a yell. Yeah, right. Well, where can that bear be? There he is. That's him, all right. He's got that white mark on his nose. I'm not going to make that mistake again. <laughs> Dusty! I found him! What is it, Andy? I found Hercules! Come on! He's over here! <laughs> right down here! <laughs> Hercules, we've come to take you back. <laughs> What are you doing down there? What? I ran into the wrong grizzly again. Are you sure it wasn't Hercules? You know, I could have sworn it was. But the bear that decked me was a complete stranger. <laughs> Terrific left. <laughs> we got to keep looking. I don't see any sign of Andy or Dusty. Why didn't they take their horses? It's going to take them forever to walk back. Bears frighten horses. Me too. And up to now, I never thought I'd have anything in common with a horse. Aren't Andy and Dusty here yet? No, sir, they're not. I wish they'd hurry. By the time we get to California, there won't be enough gold left to fill my teeth. Look! Good heavens! That's one of those killer bears. <laughs> if it were, it would have attacked us. That's Hercules. He's faster than Andy and Dusty. It's another one of those bears. I can't make out whether it's friend or foe. <laughs> Hercules, now you get out of there right now. <laughs> may look like Hercules, and it may sound like Hercules, but it certainly is not. <laughs> 
What's his name? Back to the coach, my dear. Go to women first. Yes, but age before beauty. <laughs> He's coming after us. There's no place to hide. with you any day, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry we couldn't find Hercules. I guess he must have headed back up the high country. Do you see what I see? Put your mouth wide, Dad. Dad, what do you got? Oh. oh, Hercules, it's so good to see you again. What's going on? We are giving a testimonial dinner for this magnificent animal. Hercules saved our lives. We were attacked by this ferocious bear, and all of a sudden, they... Oh, dear. There's two ranchers. Oh, no. If they see Hercules, they'll sight him on shoot. Quick, let's get him into the wagon. Come on, Hercules, hurry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everyone, Come on. keep calm. Keep calm. Just try to get rid of them. Yes. Keep calm. Daphne, I... I don't know if I can stand the suspense. We've got to do something to make them think we're not concerned. Yeah. <gasps> I know what we can do. <gasps> Come here. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> hey, <Sarah>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what are you folks celebrating? Our wedding is... I'm coming out for <laughs> You sure got a lot to celebrate. <laughs> what would you care for some bubbly? Um, no thanks. Um, do you know there are bear tracks around your camp? We figured one of those critters might be in here. Why on earth would we ever invite a bear to a party? <laughs> this is strictly an egg group. I didn't exactly mean you'd invite him, ma'am. Uh, who are the other two fellas? Oh, uh, they, uh, they got bored and left. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing Betsy brought this large dress for her aunt in California. Yeah, I hope he doesn't mind wearing a dress. <laughs> we gotta do something about his feet. It's a dead giveaway. Maybe you can wear your mining boots. Why can't he wear your cowboy boots? He's not a cowboy. <laughs> Better help me get him off. Okay. <laughs> You sure it comes off? Of course it comes off. It didn't grow on my foot. Yeah. It was quiet. My head made the noise. My dear sir, if there were a bear in this area, do you think we'd be having a party? Listen, they could slip into camp without you noticing. Those bears are sly critters. You'd be in that wagon right now. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Blake, 
I mean, let's not think about bears. Uh, we're having a party over there. Let's dance. Ma'am, please. I, I don't know how to dance. What do you mean? You're a regular twinkle toe. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those look like bear tracks. They are bear tracks. <laughs> Ella, what would a bear be doing in there? That's right. Mm. Don't you know how to knock? You men really shouldn't disturb Grandma Tilly. She's got a bad case of the punies. <laughs> she also has a bad cough. Sorry we disturbed the old lady. Yeah, I, I hope she gets over the punies. <laughs> uh, I'd like to apologize for interrupting your party. Have a nice trip. wearing a hole in the ground. <laughs> Wait a Mr. Callahan finds out I brought a bear back to camp. He's never going to trust me again. Nonsense, Dusty. All's well that ends well. Besides, Mr. Callahan doesn't even have to know. Why tell him at all? None of us have to say anything about a bear. Agreed. Our lips will be sealed. Oh, you keep a secret like that from me? Hmm? Oh, well, you really are good friends. Now remember, everybody, not a word about the, um, the, um... <laughs> well, folks, I found a way for us to get through a Washo Pass. Yeah. Oh. Anything happen while I was gone? Oh, no, Cal, everything's just fine. <laughs> everything's very quiet. It was very peaceful. And very calm. <laughs> and very lovely. I'm certainly glad to hear that. Except for the bear. I had a thorn in his paw and I had to pull it out and he followed me back to camp. And then all of a sudden another bear came in and the ranchers came like that and they were going to shoot him and the bears got together and he's like, Christ dang, right? A bear? <laughs> 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 